What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You might ask why I got the trunk open back there and why I got my seat out. Well today, we're gonna be making the Camaro loud. And we're gonna be doing that with this. We got a sound system going in on the Camaro. As a lot of you probably know, the 1LEs um, don't necessarily have the greatest sound system. They do not have a factory amp like I believe the 1SS and 2SS obviously with the Bose systems. So this is my solution to that and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing today. So I kinda already got a jump start on, on this project but I wanted to show you exactly what I'm doing. I kinda did a, a couple things already but um, so I got some kicker subs that I've had for many years um, this was in an old vehicle. I saved them um, and I thought hey, this is perfect um, To put these subs into the Camaro to uh, help bolster the sound a little bit So what I did was I got this box off Amazon. It was like 50 bucks um, Pretty happy with this box too. it. It went together pretty good. Uh, it's pretty solid made um, I had this uh, Capacitor already um, and then I'm running a ginormous uh, profile amp that I've had for a while as well that I previously ran with these 210s. So um, I did have to pick up a couple new things. I had to pick up some some speaker wire, some ground wire, some T-taps, um, a new fuse holder because mine was pretty pretty well uh, kind of rotted out, um, a new uh, line converter, um, and then this add a circuit fuse um, which is the micro style, which I'll show you where I'm putting that as well. So let's uh, let's jump into what I have currently done so far. So in the trunk area, I got everything kind of torn apart. I got you know the back plastic off, um, and then so I could pull this back to get access to the battery. Um, but basically, what I've done so far, let's see, is in this fuse box here. I added a circuit. Right now I'm planning on using this um, circuit here, which is the HVAC stuff, the blower and everything. Or maybe not the blower, but uh, the HVAC system. So I use that in my daily driver, that same circuit, and that works out good because it's on when the vehicle's on or the key is on. Um, and then if we jump into the car, So what I have done so far is I took this plastic off to get at the uh, speakers because this is where I'm going to be tying in to the rear speaker. Um, I need to put those T-taps in here um, to run a line to my line converter in the back. So um, I, I didn't show you how to take this off. It's basically all um, you know push push pins or whatever. So they just it just kind of pop this popped out up and then this whole panel popped out and there's a couple screws behind the airbag guys but there's other videos out there for that as well if you want to check that out so what i think i'm going to do is uh keep working on this stuff um and show you the progress along the way i'm not going to probably show you every detailed step that i'm doing with the wiring um but if you got any questions obviously leave it in the comment below um if you got something i'll try and answer it um, I'm kind of learning how to put it into here with the battery in the back. It should be pretty easy. I'm hoping um, You know, I got a bunch of old wiring left over from uh, Old vehicles, um, so I'm planning on reusing, you know, some of this power wire um, And obviously I should have plenty because the batteries in the back, so I don't have very long run uh, Like I said, I'm using four gauge wires um, which I have previously used in this system, obviously with it being a shorter run, that should be fine. Um, I haven't had any problem with that in the past, but um, yeah, um, maybe go into a little more detail. So I picked this new fuse holder up. It's a maxi style fuse, which I haven't used before. Um, so this is gonna stick out a little bit, um, but that should be okay. I plan on kind of tape mounting this in the back so it's secure. Um, yeah, so we'll jump into it and uh, kind of like I said show you the progress along the way um, And then hear what it sounds like all said and done. Hopefully it it kind of 
fills out the sound system in these cars because as you guys know, um, my car only has the two door speakers and then the two sail panel speakers in the rear. It doesn't have the rear deck uh, speakers, which it just blows me away that they have the spot for those and they don't put speakers in them. But um, so the sound is okay, but it's just lacking a little bit. Obviously I'm used to a decent amount of bass uh, in my daily driver and I just feel it's lacking a little bit and it would just make cruising a little more fun. So yeah, let's have at her. Okay guys, so I got a little excited and kind of put the panel back on right after I um, put those T-taps on the speaker wire and uh, connected, our, connected the speaker back up and kind of forgot to film it. But I mean, really all I did was put those T-taps and you just squeeze them together with a pliers um, and then you just uh, connect the wire to those and then I'll show you where I have that wire ran. So, uh, ooh, it's dark. All right, so what I did is I just connected that T-tap up to the speaker wire um, and then I combined um, both positives and both negatives, you know, to the corresponding positive negative wire. And then I have this speaker wire just running to those T-taps on the speaker wire. So those are the high level inputs here. And then I just have this, um, you know, two-sided tape down. I'll plug in my RCA cables, um, obviously to, uh, to the sub or to the amp and should be good to go. So that's nice and secure. And then I, I'm gonna put a clip, I got a clips coming. Um, where I'll zip tie this so this doesn't rub. But uh, yeah, nice mounting. Um, and then as for the battery, um, so I got this guy uh, connected up here, and then this, I was able to just screw it right to the main. This, I'm guessing this is the starter lug, which um, doesn't matter, but um, it has pretty high amperage rating. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna put it on this. If this has a 200 amp rating, I didn't wanna pull 100 amps with my sub. And then also if the car is using, um, you know, whatever for the electric fans and everything, could put, you know, possibly over, overdo that 200 amp rating, especially when the sub is pulling half that. So that's why I connected it up to the starter lug just to make sure, because obviously when you're using the sub, you're not gonna be using the starter. So that should work out just fine. As far as the panels, I'm not gonna clip everything back in quite yet. Um, as you can see, I kind of have it loose. Um, I wanna test everything first to make sure I don't have an issue back here and don't have to pull off the panel again. And uh, that would be a pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna kind of leave everything loose for now um, until I am able to test it out and make sure I don't have a problem. All right guys, so the next step is I'm gonna get the sub, actual sub box installed into the car um, and kind of mocked up where it needs to be. Um, I got uh, the power wire already attached. Um, it's loose, but I mean, um, got it attached to the, to the sub or to the amp. And then, so now, then I can get my other power wire ran and figure out my length um, and then figure out my ground lengths. Um, as well so i want to get that all kind of mocked in first um and it'll just be easier to mock that all up with it in the car so i'm going to do that next and i'm going to put it in um i don't believe you can get it in through the trunk so i'm going through the back um seat area which makes it pretty easy since i got the seat out so we'll do that next okay guys on second thought i decided to put the um, ground wires in first. I kind of mocked in what lengths I would need. I made them both the same lengths as they're both kind of going to the same relative location. So I got just, you know, a little extra uh, length there, but um, that way I was able to get really nice ends. So I got these ends just at uh, Fleet Farm um, for battery lugs and then uh, heat shrink and heat shrunk that on there. So they look really nice and professional. Um, this, this end I got taped up as it's going to go into the amp, um, and then, um, you know, ends to go to the battery, which it looks like it should just be able to both connect up to, um, the bat uh, negative battery lug, um, that's already on the car. So 
we'll uh, get these installed and kind of zip tie it up and everything and just kind of leave them dangling, get all the mat back in and then throw this up in. All right, so I got all my wires routed, um, kind of came up in the corner and tied these all together. This is where all the wiring is anyways. Zip tied these all together, got my two grounds, one for the amp and one for the capacitor. Um, and then I got my power wire here, which um, I leaving the fuse out until um, you know uh, I got everything all hooked up. Um, so this is all hooked up on the positive side. And uh, now, um, as you can see, if I put this back, so all my wires are kind of coming out in the corner there, um, which I think will work pretty good. All right, guys, so this is basically the final install. Um, got the box in there. Fits pretty nice. I like it, looks good, matches the carpet. Um, so what I ended up doing is I was having issues with the amp turn on. The, the kicker, uh, you know, line output converter already had a, a amp turn on lead, but I was planning on not using it. I was planning on using the switch, you know, the, the fuse style, but I couldn't find any, uh, any switchable fuses that was in the fuse box back here. They were all hot all the time. So that wasn't going to work. So um, <clears throat> I uh, connected it up to the uh, remote turn on lead from this kicker uh, line output converter. And you got to make sure you hook up the ground. I first connected it without the ground. It didn't work. Um, I hooked up the ground. Boom, it worked. So, and this, like I said, I only have it connected to, you know, one side of the speakers. I have both left and right tied in, but it's only coming from the passenger side speaker. So let me get this back portion buttoned up and we'll give it a listen. All right, guys. So got the sound system hooked up, got the seat down so you can kind of see it. Amps turning on like it should. Definitely add some more bass. I'm liking it. Probably can't hear the bass clearly in the video, but I mean, it sounds good. in my garage door all right guys sound system sounds good can't play too much or it will get copyrighted but uh, yeah sounds good um, I now have a rattle problem in the back so uh, if anybody knows where that uh, I was kind of pushing on everything I couldn't uh, find where it was coming from so if anybody has some uh, outliers that they know of uh, hit me up in the comments because uh, got a pretty good rattle now so um probably end up maybe turning it down just a little bit um but uh yeah sounds good uh definitely don't need the rear speakers uh anymore rear deck speakers anymore because uh this is plenty of sound so uh yeah good upgrade um let me know what you guys think if you like the video or not uh hit me up if you got any questions all right till next time